This is The Lock Begin Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Amazon Basics brand touchscreen deadbolt. I've had this one sitting in my to-do pile for almost a year because there really isn't anything exciting about it. The features list is mediocre, the $117 price point is a bit high, the looks don't do much for me, and the pick resistance is on par with or worse than locks costing half the price. What it does have going for it is an ANSI grade 2 rating. That means this passed a 400,000 cycle test, twice that of your normal residential grade 3 hardware. That build quality does of course come with the higher price. I suspect this product isn't very popular though because most people aren't going to know why the price is so high. Now, the operation of this lock does have a quirk, though it's not an uncommon one. It makes you press some random numbers before entering the code. I presume they do that so fingerprints or a wear pattern don't compromise the combination. So we can see a couple of random digits light up. We're going to press all of them, then we can enter the code. In this case, one, two, three, four. We can then relock it with just one button. So the operation isn't that hard. As for pick resistance, there's nothing really to talk about. I didn't feel any security pins or any other features that would slow down a picker. So let's give it a try. I'm going to use my KW1 Leashy tool. I of course sell these over on covertinstruments.com. And let's see, nothing on one, two, three, four. Okay, five is binding though. It appears that that pin is set a little bit higher. That's either a stuck pin or it could be an anti-bump feature. Either way, it doesn't affect picking. Okay, click out of five. Four feels like it could be set, probably a very low cut pin. Click out of three. Two feels like another low cut again. One is binding and we got this open. Let's do that one more time just to make sure it was not a fluke. There were a couple of pin stacks that we did not have to touch. So I just wanna make sure none of those pins were stuck. Okay, once again, nothing out of one, two, three, four, Yep, number five is probably an anti-bump chamber. Though once again, that does nothing to stop a picker. Four feels set. Click out of three, nothing on two. Click out of one, and we got this open. Okay, folks, obviously that wasn't much of a challenge, which is a real shame because expense was put into making this a well-built lock. So it's a bit puzzling why they didn't invest just a little bit more into pick resistance. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.